going on everyone? Tommy Marquez here, moving through our Ranch Roundup programming series. And the next video today, it's gonna shift gears a little bit. We're actually gonna switch over to the women's competition. And today we're gonna focus on the only female athlete in the final five that has yet to compete at the ranch in Aromas. She's also the youngest athlete in the field, men or women, and it's 19 year old Haley Adams. Adams is a part of the renowned CrossFit Mayhem training cohort, and after she earned her place in the final five, I spoke with Rich Froning, who interestingly enough told me that Adams hasn't even had a chance to show off what she's best at yet, which is a scary thought given what we'll see at the ranch and her history of performing well outside of the box that starts way back in 2017 when she was still in the teenage divisions as a 16-year-old high schooler. That year at the games, Adams actually got to compete in two workouts, the sprint O course and the run swim run, that were identical to the individual women's competition. And they just so happened to be the ones that fit the bill of what we might see at the ranch. Adams won both of those events in her age division and her times would have placed her 12th in the O course and 17th in the run swim run in the individual women's competition as a 16 year old teenager, barely old enough to drive. Let that sink in a little bit. To prove Froning's point, Adams has only continued to improve once she stepped onto the individual stage. The past two seasons, she's competed at Wadapalooza, Strength and Depth twice, and the Reykjavik CrossFit Championship along with the games, and her average finish in the outside of the box workouts is 8th. Considering that her worst finish of 34th came in the sprint couplet last year with the funky sled pushes, her average finish actually moves up to 5th when you drop her best and worst finishes to account for outliers. In many of these workouts, like the Ruck at the Games and the Shark Bait Swim Workout at Wadapalooza, she's beating the same women she'll be lining up against at the ranch absent of Tia Claire Toomey. Even with a fully loaded field, Haley Adams is consistently finishing in the top five on average in the types of workouts we're going to see in stage two, particularly when swimming and longer runs are involved. So she'll have some prime chances to chew up crown on the leaderboard for a potential spot on the podium which means we could see history once again with Adams quite possibly becoming the youngest athlete ever to make the podium at the CrossFit Games. We're right on the doorstep of stage two. To get caught up in the meantime with all of our coverage leading up to the ranch, head on over to morningchocolate.com.